Jacques Valley on UFO Deception. A quote from Messengers of Deception 1979 by Jacques Valley. I believe there is a machinery of mass manipulation behind the UFO phenomenon. It aims at social and political goals by diverting attention from some human problems and by providing a potential release for tensions caused by others. The contactees are a part of that machinery. They are helping to create a new form of belief. An expectation of actual contact among large parts of the public. In turn this expectation makes millions of people hope for the imminent realization of that age-old dream, salvation from above. Surrender to the greater power of some wise navigators of the cosmos. With the release of popular UFO movies, many people who previously were skeptics have begun to jump on this bandwagon from outer space. I wish them bon voyage. However, if you take the trouble to join me in the analysis of the modern UFO myth, you will see human beings under the control of a strange force that is bending them in absurd ways forcing them to play a role in a bizarre game of deception. This role may be very important if changing social conditions make it desirable to focus the attention of the public on the distant stars. While obsolete human institutions are wiped out and rebuilt in new ways. Are the manipulators, in the final analysis, nothing more than a group of humans who have mastered a very advanced form of power? Let me summarize my conclusions thus far. UFOs are real. They are physical devices used to affect human consciousness. They may not be from outer space. Their purpose may be to achieve social changes on this planet, through a belief system that uses systematic manipulation of witnesses and contactees. Covert use of various sects and cults. Control of the channels through which the alleged space messages can make an impact on the public. Note. Someone asked what made Valley reconsider his initial POV on UFOs. This is one of the reasons, UMMO contact hoax. Post from user myjeffycu at at reddit. Comments. The strange force that is bending them in absurd ways is possibly bending him too. He speaks of controlling channels and yet he is a channel. Valley's influence on ideas is immeasurable and that includes rejecting skepticism and skeptics. Magonia and the Messengers trilogy changed the landscape of UFO thinking. He has influenced the influencers like Hynek, Knapp, Pasulka, Dr. Eric Davis PhD and Nolan and he has done it for over 50 years. The thing with Valley is he has never been able to see his own myths. We have all got them, right? We all have belief systems with no exceptions. So, when he is analyzing the modern UFO myth he can't see himself as the originator of a separate, powerful modern UFO myth. John Keel eventually rejected his own interdimensional beliefs because he scrutinized them and found them lacking. Valley, in contrast, appears to think he is above beliefs and immune to the omnipotent and omniscient control system that, he argues, changes the tides of humanity. Comment from user send me your tulips at at reddit.